Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some PHP coding. So we're going to be taking this simple mail script here. And since we're going to be using it multiple times, so you can see we have it up here and then below we have it again, we're going to try to create a function because that's just better way to code because you want to have functions to, if you're going to do a repeat, repeated task, you're going to want to have a function in place. So if you ever need to update that function, you do it in one place instead of having to go to like 10 different files and updating that same piece of code, right? It just makes more sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this and then go ahead and remove it. And then we're going to leave ourselves a comment here to put in a uh, send email alert. So we know where we need to put our function back uh, when we get that function created. Now, since we have a core file that's got our database information, um, functions, this is where we're going to put our function at. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to create a new function here. We're going to just name it, um, you know, just uh, email function. And then we're going to go ahead and name that function. So we're going to go ahead and name it. We'll just do something uh, easy. Like uh, first we need to put the word uh, function. Then we need to name it. So we'll just do send mail action. And then curly bracket, curly bracket. And I almost forgot our parentheses there. All right, so we have our function created. So now every time we call send mail action, it's gonna execute whatever is in this function, right? So now we can go ahead and paste that code that we just uh, used from that other file. And we're gonna have to change some things here because we wanna actually pass a variable to this function because you can, as you can see, and, and I'm gonna undo what we deleted, you can see it calls a, a variable called action name. So we're gonna wanna pass this action name into that function, right? So let's go ahead and put all that back. So like I said, we named that send mail action. We're gonna copy that and do our parentheses there. And then we're gonna put in action name as our variable. So we can pass this variable to that function. So now we can hit save because that's pretty much all we need in this file. And we're gonna actually copy this and move it down. And you can see we're doing that same mail thing here. We can actually now paste that. So it's one line code. That just saved us, what, uh, 10 lines of code. And now we have one little thing that we need to put in, which it makes it really nice. And then now we just make all of our uh, configuration changes here. So now we're passing that variable, right? So now we need to put that into there. So we're gonna put in same name, action name, right? And we're passing that variable into this function and now it'll pass into the code below. So that's what we want. Now there's a couple other things that we need to have set here. Um, so you can see we are pulling, um, this should actually be email alert because you can see if we scroll here to the top, we have email set alert there. So we come back down and we're actually change this variable here. So just so, you know, if we ever need to change our send to email, we change it in one area, right? And that's gonna be right here at the top for us. It might be different in your case, but for us, it's right up there. So we're gonna scroll back down. There's other couple things that we need to set. So we need to set uh, a global variable because when you have a function, it doesn't grab, like if I had, um, if we have this email alert variable outside of the function, then we need to set it as a global variable. So we're gonna go ahead and set that. And then there might be something else here, log IP, which is getting the client IP. So we'll just change that to get client IP. And we also need to set that as a global variable because it's going outside of the function. So we have our email alert, which is gonna be sent to that email. We get the get IP. Everything else is gonna be passing through that variable. And I think we're good to go. So we can go ahead and test it and that should be it. So there you guys have it. That's how you can create an email function with one line and saving it from everywhere. So now if we need to reuse this again in any of our code, we can just simply copy and paste that anywhere and it'll send an email and we just change our action alert. And you can have multiple variables in here as well. So if you wanna pass through, maybe the, e the send to email will change. You know, you can add a second variable in there if you want. Um, so that's an option as well. But in our case, we're only doing one because the email will never change. So there you guys have it. Hope this was helpful. Please check our Discord server, and if you like the video, please like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Have a good one.